Let's not wait any longer. The first selection in the 2004 NHL Entry Draft belongs to the Washington Capitals. This is Washington's first first overall pick since 1976 when the Capitals took defenseman Rick Green. Prior to that, their only other first overall pick was Greg Jolly. Two years earlier, a player projected to be the next Bobby Orr by then GM. It was uh, Max McNabb. No, no, it was Bill Schmidt, Bill the GM Schmidt, of Washington yeah. back then. I like Washington's odds of hitting this pick. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll do just fine with this pick. Brian, why did they wait so long? Though? Why all the talk about making trades? Doesn't it make you think that it, people perhaps think that we're interested in Ovechkin? No, you've got to see what's out there. I know for a fact that they got two offers that George McPhee thought very seriously about. You've got a chance here to get a superstar player or parlay that player into two or three or four assets that can help your team. You have to listen. It doesn't matter if you're convinced that this player is going to be a stud. You must listen. you got a chance to shorten the whole rebuilding process by trading the player. There's Alexander Ovechkin. To the right is his father, Michael. That's his mother, Tatiana, a two-time Olympic gold medalist in women's basketball at the Olympic Games who went on to become the head of the Russian Basketball Federation. His father, a great soccer player, he's got athletic genes. You know, if you're going to go into the direction the Washington Capitals have chosen by jumping Sergei Gonchar, by getting rid of Yarmir Yager, you better have a foundation that's really solid. Alexander Ovechkin, Bob, is one of the best foundations you could ever get in terms of rehabilitating your franchise. Ted Leonsis, the owner, accompanying George McPhee to the podium, and he will make the first selection. With the first selection, 2004 NHL entry draft, Washington Capitals are pleased to select Alexander Ovechkin. Not like there was ever any doubt. Absolutely not. A great big smile and a great big hug from his pair of a father, Michael, his mother Tatiana. Alexander Ovechkin, not only is this guy a winning hockey player, he's got a winning personality, and that's one of the things that the Washington Capitals really like about him. Every day goes by, his English is getting better and better. You almost never see him without a big smile on his face. He's got tons of personality on and off the ice. And I don't think there's anybody sitting in this arena today, not in any of the 30 draft tables, that wouldn't do exactly the same thing that the Washington Capitals are doing right here. This kid, 18 years old, is going to be on the Russian World Cup team this fall, and he says he's looking forward to it. And he was joking with his agent, Don Mean, and suggesting... I think somebody might score a goal in overtime, and it might be me. The thing that amazes you about this player, he has tremendous escape ability down low with the puck on his stick. He's got explosive speed through the neutral zone. He's fundamentally so sound defensively, Brian, that a lot of young players that have the offensive talent he has don't have that defensive awareness. So you know he's going to be a bang-up number one and really lead Washington to the promised land. That's right. He's got a complete game. He's a 200-foot player. He plays on every part of the ice surface. He's reliable defensively. He's got a little bit of truculence and belligerence in his game. He doesn't mind when it gets rough. And he's got skill, skill, skill. So that's going to the Stanley Cup final. They brought him down as one of the top prospects. And I said, you like Washington, lots of museums, art, and history. He says, I don't care about museums, art, and history. I want to play in the NHL. By the way, his birthday is September 17th. Had he been born two days earlier, he would have been picked in last year's National Hockey League draft, likely first overall there as well. A tough year for the Washington Capitals. Made a lot better when they won the draft lottery. And now they land Alexander Ovechkin, one of those special players who was projected as a first overall at the age of 14. And that doesn't end the intrigue, of course. He has a year remaining on his contract in Russia. The IHF agreement has expired. Not clear when they'll see this player, but the betting is they'll figure something out and get him over here. Hey, and if you're a fan of the Washington Capitals, don't worry. This is not a high-maintenance player that's going to pollute your dressing room. He's going to go in there and make it a real vibrant, fun place, not like some of the previous European players they've had in Washington. Now, you saw uh, Yarmer Yager scouted him when he was this age. How does he compare Alexander Ovech? Bob, Brian and I were talking about it before. I really feel this is as good a player as Yarmer Yager because he's more refined fundamentally defensively than Yarmer Yager was. Maybe not as pure a player in terms of offense, but way better defensively. All right. That's the first round history of the Capitals who have a good young nucleus they believe to go forward after shedding a lot of veteran players. Here's Dave Strader on the floor. 
All right, Alexander, very emotional moment, I'm sure. You're just the second Russian-born player to go first overall. Ilya Kovalchuk, of course, was the first. That must make you very proud. Yeah, I'm very proud of this. Um, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. Your mom won an Olympic gold medal in basketball. Your dad was a professional soccer yeah. player. Was there ever any doubt that you were going to play hockey? Uh, my brother wants to be a play hockey, and uh, they, uh, he gave me uh, the Dynamo school, and uh, I train and complain for Dynamo all the time. Well, good luck in the World yeah. Cup, and good luck in the National Hockey Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Gord? Alexander Ovechkin goes first. Russians have never gone 1-2 in the same NHL entry draft. We might see history when we come back to Raleigh.